Hi, this is Don at DonAlfin.com. I just bought a really, really neat uh, addition to my boat the other day. This is a Yolotech power light, which uh, goes in my front navigation port, light port, and uh, you can't see it because of the camera angle, but it uh, actually extends all the way up to 52 inches. On the top of it is a nice uh, light that illuminates the entire boat if you want to do, to do tackle at night. Uh, it also has two USB ports, and, and the really the most important reason I bought this is to be able to power my GoPro camera uh, from the boat battery instead of having to have my uh, separate battery packs when I'm doing filming or um, just literally trying to improve my own fishing skills by being able to watch what I do while I'm on the water. So, uh, but, but interestingly enough, uh, when I bought this, the stern navigation port works fine with this... Um, with this setup, but my front navigation port does not work that way. It is a, uh, it has a map light on it, and uh, the map light means that you have to have three posts that, and, and, um, and an extra power uh, going to that front post, and so you push the button, the map light, map light comes on, and so you have power to that whenever you have your breaker on um, uh, in the back of the boat. So. Uh, I need to rewire this. So Yolotech has produced a, a neat little sheet. Um, I'll show it to you here. It doesn't matter if you can see it because you can get it from Yolotech. And if you have to rewire your, your uh, front navigation port, then these are the steps that you're going to take. So we're going to take a look at it. And these are the tools that you're going to need. You need a, uh, just, a, just a standard uh, Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you need something to cut your wires with. Um, I just use this as a big... Uh, uh, electrical tool that I like to just uh, smash the, uh, the uh, wire connectors on and then a couple of wire connectors uh, and some electrical tape. That's really all you need for this project. Now, I've already started the project and so I'm just going to be walking you th through uh, the steps um, that, that uh, make this a very, very simple thing and if you have any questions, obviously, um, uh, you can uh, call Yellow Tech Direct and, uh, and they can, they can uh, give you the answers. But I think it should be pretty self-explanatory. If you've had any um, idea of how to work with 12-volt uh, uh, electricity, it's just dirt simple. So I've just taken four screws out of this, out of this um, unit here. Uh, just small screws, easy to come out. And we're going to pull out this section. Now I've already... Uh, done some work in here so I'll just show you what I've done and told you and show you where we are what we have in this in this front navigation port are three posts and all we're going to do is we're going to take one of the posts and wire uh, and and tape or wire nut them off so that so that the power is not is no longer coming here with the exception of two posts not to the third and then all we're going to do is switch one of the one of the posts um, from being the map light post to the second in a two post setup okay so so basically if you look at this from this angle uh, this red wire is going to remain the same this black wire I've already cut which was the which was the um, the line going to the um, it's called the C terminal which is basically the map light and so that's already been cut and I've and I've just taped that off so it's of no concern to us so what I'm doing is now I'm taking this this uh, original negative side um, which is the gray wire and now I'm going to connect that to that power side the other end of this black wire that we've cut so that's right here and I've already got a little wire connector tied onto it and uh, so now all we have to do is we're just going to literally connect this and you know I don't have the exact tool that I would like to have the crimper but this works really well it's a very very heavy duty uh, dike and so all I, I do is just smash that down make sure that it's firm make sure that it's not going to pull out which it is not and now Believe it or not, that's all we've done. We've taken, we've taken this post, and now it's hot. Now, now we've got power to it. The red already had power to it, and we've removed the power from the third post, which was 
giving power to this map light that we no longer need. Okay, so that is, is literally all that's necessary for us to get the power to the yellow tech exactly as we, as we want it. And the only way that this works is if you have already taken the, the navigation port, light port in the back of your boat, the stern of your boat, and has, have tested this uh, power light, uh, you know, sold by Yellow Tech, and as long as that works, then you know that you can do the same thing up here. So um, uh, I've already tested it, it works absolutely great. Um, it's a very easy fix, under five minute job, and all you have to do is remember that uh, you can call Yellow Tech, 1-800-488-5512, um, ask them if you have difficulty with this to send you a sheet that will explain exactly what we've done here, or just watch the video again. So all I'm going to do now is now that it's all set up like this, we just put it back together. I put the, I put the screws in exactly the way they came out, which is extremely simple. Then as soon as that's done, we turn on the power and uh, we've got a Yolotech power light working. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, pass it around if, uh, if, if others need to, uh, to do the same thing and, uh, and like us where you can on YouTube. Thanks.